I created Lyrics to Learn knowing that typically kids in elementary school are really into music. Music has always worked really well to teach, to learn, um, to increase brain function. Research studies show you know, how music imprints on the brain faster than any other kind of learning. And you know that's why all of our ABC songs are sung and those kinds of things. And so what makes this different is that it all is music based. So they don't even realize that they're reading, they think they're singing. Music is such a big part of our culture in general and so much, such a big part of kids' lives. Because if you look at how other teachers have taught in the past, or how they still teach today within kindergarten. We use so many songs and so many rhymes and poems, and they just have this, this ear for music in general. And so if we can tie it to a reading concept, I think it makes a lot of sense. Reading really hit me because uh, for math, there's a lot of things that kids can go into and tune into as far as math videos or math exercises. There's a lot of uh, interactive strategies online that kids can use. But when it came to actually reading online, or something supplemental that kids would really like to do on the computer. I, I couldn't find anything that did a really good job. Kids didn't have a really engaging, fun way to try and become more fluent. You know, repeated reading is a great strategy, but kids are just reading the same thing over and over again, orally, out loud, and they get bored with it in such a hurry. And to me, to get kids engaged and get them interested in reading is half the battle. Once they become interested, then they basically take off on their own. That's it. Lyrics to Learn, to me, is a fabulous way to get students interacting with text that they may not normally interact with. Some students are drawn to fiction, some to nonfiction, some to poetry, but this has a little bit of everything. So they're exposed to everything and they get to listen to the text, they get to hear it, it has music with it, and they get to comprehend it. I've always been into writing, so I started writing all this different poetry that I thought would actually be enjoyable for kids to read, to get them to read, especially the boys. All of the subjects are either character building because it was really fun to, it left me a lot of flexibility to make stories that were really fun, engaging, witty, um, but also building character and lessons. The Coliseum itself is a massive thing with 80 entrances around in a ring. And then today they were doing Coliseum and you know they get to learn about gladiators and a lot of action and usually kids are really into anything that's exciting. So I tried to write about things that they're naturally into anyway. And holding them accountable too for, for what they're learning and what they're listening to because they do have to answer questions. So it's not just, oh, I'm gonna listen to this and be done with it, they're, they're accountable. And when you do it three times, at the end when you push okay. the button that says continue, it asks you some questions mm -hmm. and you had to answer them. No longer criminals, a brand new face. The music part of it just kind of came along on its own. I don't have uh, you know, a real extensive background in music, but my entire family has, has always been very musical. I'm kind of like the black sheep that way, but somehow I think it's caught up to me. To be honest with you, I didn't know how much a person could create without actually playing an instrument. It's, it's really amazing what you can do with technology now, um, even if you're not, you know, technically a, a musical person, you can make some pretty cool sounds. Here we go. You get to say the words along with the song. The first thing that they see is a fabulous little notebook that kind of looks like Elvis. It's hilarious, and they're like, I love the notebook! So the talking notebook, which greets them and tells them what to do. So right away, they're engaged, and then the story comes on. The text is highlighted. It has different types of music in the background. Could be rap, could be jazz, could be just kind of a lyrical tune. But it did have one large round eye staring at me. Yeah, there's a lot of hip hop. And uh, you know, it's funny because talking to teachers, there's been a lot of different reactions to that. But once teachers actually listen to it and see it and see the message that it's sending, um, and then they realize that hip hop 
really lends itself to fluency and speaking along with the flow, which is really what we're trying to get them to do, is find the, the rhythm of their voice. Well, lyrics to learn is um, something that you can read with and you rap and you do everything and you can read in your fluency. Do you like it? Yeah. Why do you like it? I like it because um, you read better and you read faster than what you read before. You read slower and then you read really different. She actually had been with her double score, was not kind of reading up at her grade level when she was in third grade, and was approached to do a program through her third grade teacher and said that Mr. Sparts was creating this program. I actually thought it was um, ideal for her and for her situation and being able to do it because she can learn the words to a song in a heartbeat and she can tell you what the song means and everything and so that's just was how she was able to to pick up reading so I thought it was an ideal situation and I just know with music and learning I just knew that it was going to be a really positive experience for her. That's I was cool. told if your child doesn't know how to learn or read by third grade the rest of their school is you know education is, is going to be a pretty much pretty a challenge for them they might get lost in the system um, and so that was not a positive thing that we heard I mean, it was scary as a parent thinking, oh, you know, maybe they're not up to, to par. You know, what do you do? What, what resources are available and where do, you, where do you go? So it was kind of scary. So I think a program like this gives parents and gives the community hope to say maybe if you start them and give them something that they enjoy and music is something that they enjoy, you can move them forward and not have some of that fear factor as, you know, kids are in the education system. What do you think about Mr. Sparts, just um, as somebody who's a, a local, your local teacher, starting something, I, I would say, fairly ambitious like this? I think it's fabulous. I think it's great that he has taken the opportunity to learn and to know that other, the way kids learn is not just your standard way and everybody learns differently. And I think taking this concept and working with the community, we've introduced him to other people within the community that have um, non-traditional type learners and students to help kind of create the music and to be able to have him partner with the community and use those skills and those resources and to be able to do this I think it's fabulous because he's actually given <laughs> um, hope and, and some encouraging you know advice to us and an encouraging progress with our child by doing this so it's been a real encouragement for my husband and I as parents to see how she can progress by just one person taking an interest and kind of doing things just a little bit different. And it was definitely a lot of work but what made the difference or what made me you know do over 150 different lessons was how much the kids enjoyed it and how much it worked as far as improving their fluency. do cool songs. Do you like Lyrics to Learn? Yes. Why? Because Lyrics to Learn has cool songs. The fact that it's music and kids can identify with music very quickly um, and they're very excited to do it. The fact that they're wanting to do it, it has also, I think that has a huge help in it because if they're wanting to do it then they tend to work harder and during that time we're going to see more growth. How about you? How does Lyrics to Learn make you a better reader? Because there's lots of words that you don't know that it helps you be more fun and it helps you become good at reading. Yeah, and is it fun because it's, why is it fun? Is it fun because it's on a computer or is it fun because it's music? Tell me why it's fun. It's, it's music. It's because there's a lot of music and the music is like cool music. When I say, oh, we have homework tonight, it's lyrics to learn, they go, yes! They absolutely love it. Parents like the fact that their kids like doing the homework. You know, that it's not a fight with them, it's not a struggle. Do you like doing this for homework but more than other kinds of homework? I like doing this for homework because um, regular homework normally makes it hard. And I, um, it's better for me because the homework is like, but lyrics to learn is faster and easier to do.
teachers can log on and they can basically get a membership which includes 30 licenses for each of their students and that's how it separates data and keeps everything organized. The nice thing about Lyrics to Learn is the fact that we're able to access their scores on how they're doing the comprehension questions, how they're doing at each level really quickly. Everything's broken down and so I can actually see which questions that, you know, which depth of knowledge questions the students are actually understanding. You don't have to um, do a lot of paperwork, you don't have to keep it in your book. All you have to do is log on to the website, find it, and then it's really easy to look it up and access the information. And how do you use that information? Uh, mostly just to see how they're improving with their ORF scores and with their um, depth of knowledge questions. So if they're struggling on certain questions in the Lyrics to Learn program, then I tend to hit those questions during whole group rotation and small group rotation at the back table. The kids were reading along with the stories and I just did it as a pilot just to see what would happen. And in one quarter, you know, the kids absolutely took off as far as their fluency went because they were so engaged in what they were doing. Right now we're seeing a growth in all of their ORF scores. ORF is your oral reading fluency. And we've also seen um, an in increase in their comprehension scores as well. One of my students went up uh, right around 40 ORF points. At the beginning of the school year, he was below the, the benchmark for third grade. At the end of the year, he was still below it, but at the beginning of the school year, he was 15 to 20 words below, and at the end of the school year, he was only three to five words below. So he almost made it to that ORF, or the oral reading fluency benchmark. I have a student that struggles in reading. At the beginning of the year, you know, he didn't share as much because, you know, when he, he struggled with reading on his own. His confidence level and his fluency levels are both coming up because he, he's, he can comprehend orally what, is, what he hears. And so by hearing the lyrics to learn and then being able to answer the questions on it and then bringing that back to class, just the fact that he's more confident in his reading makes him want to try harder in class. Is it, as a teacher, is that exciting? To yeah, see? that is really exciting to see. <laughs> well, just because, you know, when they, when they think they can do it, or when they have that success of being able to do it, then it's just going to keep building. If you're not doing so well on your reading and you want to do better, um, don't, like, give up on your dream if you want to do, like, your music to it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel your reading's gotten better since you've used this? Yeah, it gotten better by like um, my um, words were um, going like up more than just the number. She has improved in her reading. Um, she actually was doing another program that was not as successful. So she, when she started doing this, she actually likes to sit down at the computer. She actually likes to read. She can retell the story um, by ha just having her tested and working with. Mr. Sparch, we've seen her numbers improve. She actually enjoys picking up a book now and trying to read where before she didn't. So I have definitely seen a lot of improvement in just her interest and excitement in reading. It's growing slowly, but as of right now, I just got my first membership in Dublin, Ireland, which is pretty wild to see. We're just going to see where it goes. It's, it's a lot of fun and it's a big project, but uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully it makes a difference and gets a lot of kids into literacy that weren't before.